So I am Nyana Shikhar, 20 years old, and right now I'm pursuing my BA and a graduation in Nayala College, Chennai. So as father told, I was the national deputy prime minister and the state level prime minister for uh, Tamil Nadu Children Parliament um, for continuously four times, for four years. So thank you so much for having me here, and um, I'm very honored to see you all and address you all. Thank you so much for this opportunity, father, and uh, thank you so much for all. For being here in this evening, so it's a very great gathering. Thank you so much. So I would like to start the session from my uh, personal experience. Like, how did I start this children parliament, and how we started taking, uh, like, we started transforming our place wherever we are, and how it has drastically, it has slightly changed our society, and how I became the global convener from a very small village. So I would like to start from my family background. So my parents, like both my parents, are um, just studied tenth standard. My mom has not even completed a tenth standard, and my father has done, but with an arrear. And they are not very great educated people. But both the people, both the parents, are just uh, daily wages people, and um, we used to earn like uh, one fifty rupees per month per day. So with that amount, my father had to take care of our family and the other rules, household rules, and other stuffs and all. So one day um, during summer holiday, I think when I was nine years old, I went to my uh, relative's home. So that is a very uh, drastic village located on the top of the mountain. So there, uh, that village people did not have any facilities. They didn't have any kind of fundamental facilities to live. Like um, hospital, education, they don't have school, so something like that. They didn't have any kind of fundamental facilities. They didn't even have transport facility. So to reach that village, surprisingly, we need to cross like um, we need to cross the river. So I I was there for a week, and one day, one fine morning, my neighbor sister and me, we both were playing together, and we were just making fun of my three years old brother. So and that time, I I just saw that uh, that sister, she was pregnant. She was just about fifteen years, but she was pregnant. She was under she has undergone to a child marriage, and I I just thought, why she has married at the age of eight, uh, at the age of just fifteen and all, and that evening she has got, she got some pregnancy pain or some physical problem, and all the village people were decided to take her take her to the hospital, but. They didn't have any hospitals there nearby. They had to go to like 17 kilometers to reach the hospital. So they they were carried the sister. They were carried my sister on top on the cot, and four men were just walking like uh, they were walking to hospital. And unfortunately, that time that river, you know, I I told you in the beginning, to reach that village, they had to cross a river. We had to cross a river. That river got flooded. So. That people they couldn't be able to reach the hospital on time, and they were decided to take care, take an another way, which is like ten kilometers longer than that, longer than usual way. And uh, in the half of the way, this my sister and the fetus died. So we lost two lives in the same day, in just one day. We lost two lives, and uh, they just came back to our nephew, and um, I just saw all these scenes. What is happening there, and and I, I I couldn't be able to digest this scene because because that morning we were just making fun of my brother and we were playing together. But since that evening, she's no more. Means as a nine years old kid, I couldn't be able to digest this scene. So I was crying. I was I didn't eat. I didn't take food. Something like that, and I was mentally affected, and I was emotionally too. So my relatives were sent me to my native place. and i told all these things to my mom mom this is what happened there and i saw that sister was very very cute and she was just about 15 or 16 years old but she she was died maybe the reason would be um, child marriage or the lack of fundamental facilities in the village and surprisingly my mom told me it was a very big hit and shock you know what my mother told i was also undergone to a child marriage when i was 15 years old 
and it is like oh my god i thought it is happening somewhere else but it has happened to my own mom and this is how i just realized and i was shocked i shocked a lot and and the another thing she added like it was a very big uh, it made a very big impact you know my mom got district level ranks in three subjects when she was studying 10th standard but she couldn't be able to write the rest two examinations because she has undergone to a child marriage so she told me at the moment she told me this thing i i was like literally okay what is the things are happening what are the things that are happening in the society why this kind of injustices are happening to the people and i thought all these things i started like thinking about it when i was 9 but i couldn't be able to do anything because i was a kid and i was powerless that time so so the, the last scene which made me to take part in the children parliament actively was it was a very uh, normal scene like my friends and i were having the habit of taking bath in the well so one day we were taking bath in the well we were just swimming in the well and some people came to us and one man asked us to get out of the well and we didn't know why so as they told like we just got out of the well and uh, we went back to our homes and that night i was beaten up by my father black and blue very heavily you know i i didn't even know why my father has beating me but he is he has beaten me lot and uh, then i just i just cried and i slept and the next morning i realized the reason just um, i was going to school there my friends are just forced to beg for sorry in front of 500 people in a so called structure panchayat because they belongs to some they are saying that they are belongs to a lower caste people so they are not allowed to take bath in the public well so that's why they are punishing the like they are punishing 9 and 10 years old kids i took three students three friends to well and all those three were punished and i thought oh my god there are also kids like us and but why this kind of inhuman activities are happening why they should ask for sorry they should uh, fill in some people's leg and all and i thought all these things about okay we should stop this the first thing we have made a resolution something like that is we have to stop these things and we have to protect the people we have to see humanity at least we have to do something to change our village no matter about the world no matter about the nation no matter about the state the first thing we have had so we decided to change our village people so but we had this idea we had the motto we had the motivation we had the pain and all but we didn't have any kind of fundamental we didn't have any kind of proper facility or platform so when i was in uh, fifth standard when i was 10 years old so we heard something called children parliament in which uh, children can be empowered they can become uh, ministers as uh, so many speakers have told you in the earlier sessions children can become ministers children can do some social transformations children can work for the society for the betterment of the people rights children rights something like this it sounded like crazy and uh, we thought okay as a children we couldn't do anything so they are just doing some marketing or they are just um, like fooling us they are trying to make us fool something like this we thought but in just few days it was about like two or three days some achieved people from children parliament came to us they were also children so they came to us and they told this is what we made in our village this is what we made in our home this is what we made these are the transformations we have made in our uh, village panchayat and so a lot of structures and we were wondered okay this is something very very essential and in which we can do a lot of changes through which we can do a lot of transformations so let's give it a try let's give a try in this platform so i joined this children parliament platform now it has become a movement and that movement has become my way of life now so i have started my journey when i was 10 years old as a member of neighborhood level children parliament so where um, eighth standard kids were ruling the children parliament and i was just sitting and i was just listening to all these speakers and 
when my tones comes up when my tone comes up like oh, okay i used to speak that time so one day the uh, people from unicef came and visit us so while they are visiting i used to talk about a lot i was talking them i was talking to them like this is what happened to my mom and this is what i have faced and lot of things and that made one beautiful thing they told that you have all the capacities and you have all the uh, personalities to become a very great leader keep going they told me so i thought okay this is something essential to me i have to take it forward so from there our journey has started i started my journey as a member of neighborhood level children parliament and i'm here today as an international child rights activist and a global convener for world parliament of children so when i was in the neighborhood level children parliament the first thing we have taken in our hand was like we didn't have the transport facility and street light facility in our village so we gave a petition to panchayat president regarding street lights and transport facilities so we didn't have road facility so with regard to that we gave a petition that tran- that um, street light facilities were solved like it was a malfunction street light it was solved in just two hours but people in our village has made dharna in front of collector office uh, to put road and all but it was vain collector or any other public servants were not even just hearing to them when people were doing dharnas and some rallies and something like that but as a children parliamentarians we were just 25 to 30 children we went to panchayat president's house and we gave a petition and every grama sabha meeting in public holidays or very important days or the national holidays um every panchayat raj used to conduct grama sabhas so all we started taking participation we started participating in all the grama sabhas with a petition with a thanks letter and with a rose so that petition we we used to give the petition at the last and we used to give the thanks letter with the rose in the beginning saying that okay you have done lot of things to us on behalf of children parliament we are thanking you so we are do, uh, dealing with the panchayat presidents now so we thank we, are, we will thank them then after the thanks we'll give the petition okay this is what should be solved now something like this and once we started doing all these things and all the uh, village people turning turn to our side okay these children are doing something they are doing some things but it is very essential to the society so let's call them and let's ask them to form children parliament community network ncn um, we formed more than 200 children parliaments in just a, in just one panchayat and all these children parliaments were amazing you know from there from the neighborhood level children parliament i was promoted to panchayat level pres- uh, parliament as a president sorry prime minister so as a prime minister of panchayat level children parliament i started like uh, doing some research when i was 11 years old so i became a prime minister of a panchayat when i was 11 so we were running a mini government in our panchayat so to be frank it was a mini government and we started acting as a bridge between the normal category people and the politicians as well the administration people like indian administration service officers police and uh, some other public servants too and all the public servants and all the administration people started giving respect they started respecting us in a very grateful manner so it was a very grateful thing we have ever had because we were voiceless we were powerless when we were just an ordinary kids in our homes and we used to go to shops and we used to go to do some household works and school and well just used to using to watch some television programs and uh, it was our life but after this introduction about the children parliament in just few years all our children's life were changed drastically it has transformed it is like an evolution so we thought this should be uh, randomly shared with all the children who are in the village and it has become um, district level children parliament next time 
so when this organization ncn conducted this district level children parliament federation there also i got an opportunity to lead the team as a prime minister so in 2013 when i was 13 so children parliament but this time it is district level so in district level children parliament we gave several petitions to district collectors uh, sp sovereign of police and some local authorities and all so when some problems could not be solved in the neighborhood level or uh, panchayat level they will forward this to block level and if they couldn't be solved they couldn't be able to solve this problem in the black level children parliament means they will forward that to district level children parliament and we were also addressing like um, searching for some huge level problems and uh, we were trying to solve all those so like this in the beginning so my mom was undergone to a child marriage because of child marriage lot of indiscriminate in this injustices were happened so i have personally undergone to lot of emotional problems so yeah this thing should be stopped this is the first resolution we have taken and in 7 years of children parliament journey we have stopped more than 247 child marriages and we have rescued more than 1000 child laborers and bonded laborers so apart from all those still the great thing we have made one of the beautiful things and unforgettable things means uh you know you can remember that village located on the top of the mountain i was visited i visited when i was nine where that lady has died so we have brought bridge to that village we have brought transport facilities we have bought bus facilities street lights primary health center and school so now that village has become a model village that school has become a model school so this is the thing this is a very beautiful and unforgettable thing we have ever made in our life in this children parliament in district level later on i promoted to state level children parliament so in that state level children parliament we focused the unreachable category people like um, very very rural people people from uh, sex workers people and uh, people from very um, slum area something like this we started searching some unreachable and we taught them how to reach the impressionable sectors so this children parliament has just just evolved as an international movement now and it has slightly coming as a way of life of lot of people many children parliamentarians are doing lot of things and lot of social transformations more than transformations they are changing all the citizens life they are changing all the people's life so let's say for example a um, lot of our children parliamentarians are trying to become an ips officers is officers one of them were achieved now so he has to clear, cracked the upsc civil services and he has posted in chandigarh i think so so this is the thing and this is the personality we are having in our hand in just 10 11 12 years we were trained we are training children to lead their life uh, to be frank our uh, master trainer joseph ratnam used to say this wherever i go i used to say this i too used to say this because this is a very beautiful saying i have ever heard so lot of schools not lot of schools maximum schools like 99.9% schools are teaching how to teach how to make success how to reach some higher positions how to be successful in life but majority of them were failed in terms of teaching how to face failures this is the one important thing they have to schools and education institutions have to teach children so if they know how to how to handle problems how to come come out of problems and if they know how to overcome problems automatically they can be able to reach lot of sectors and they can be able to come out of it and they can do transformation in at least in their personal life so this is how i entered and um, i was serving as the state level children parliament prime minister for continuously four years later on um, i got an opportunity to take part in 
international sorry national level children parliament program conducted in delhi so when i went to delhi it was the very first time i ever seen flight so close so you know my family background both my parents were illiterate not literally like illiterate but just semi educated they were not even crossed the boundaries of our district but i got an opportunity to take part in national level conference that to in the capital of the country by flight when i told this thing to my father he laughed at me hey, he is going to fly by flight this is how he just literally reacted me and in just few days i show him that okay you also come to come with me and give me a send off to delhi and i was there for um, for two weeks in delhi i took part in a lot of programs lot of activities and at the end of the session i was appointed as the deputy prime minister of national level children parliament in india so when i met a lot of ambassadors and the uh, former finance minister mr arun jedli sir so we met arun jedli sir and uh, former uh, sorry here uh, the ambassador of maldives and some other ambassadors to from various countries so we met all these people and uh, we we gave a lot of speeches and we gave a lot of interviews in televisions and fm stations and at the moment i came back to tamil nadu i was like oh my god i have i came from a capital of a country it was like it was a very great feel for me and later on i came back to my village all the people in my village before it was just about 100 children were part of children parliament and at the moment i came back from i returned back from delhi they saw some news interviews and they saw some uh, programs advertisements in youtube as well in uh, tv television channels lot of people came to my father and they were forced my father to join their children to uh, children into the student parliament program so it was like a very great thing because initially uh, students and uh, initially uh, students and um, children usually uh, they were hesitated to take part in children parliament they were very curious to play with fellow mates not to take in this governing activities at all but after the realization what are the things can be done through this children parliament what are the things can be um, made easy because of this children parliament they started taking place not in just single numbers but in three four digits so these all the things were happened and i just completed my 12th standard my schooling i was just looking for college and i just scored 75 percentage in 12th standard and i was just looking for um, college seat but before my results appear before the results i got seat in three colleges all those three are very very prestigious so i chose one among them which is loyola college chennai which is one of the most prestigious institutions for arts and science in india always it secures first 10 ranks in india for arts and science so they gave me seat in the college not only just a seat but they made me a very good and very huge honor because i served i was serving as the national deputy prime minister and i made a lot of social transformations to respect children parliament to show their respect to the children parliament they gave me a seat and to respect my activities and service they made all the financial terms like academic fee and uh, hostel fee they gave me 100% full bright scholarship which means i need not to spend even a single penny for being their student and surprisingly they paid me for being their student like monthly 5000 they gave me an instant incentive so after getting this incentive like i was like okay i i just got i just got 75% but more than marks if we are associated with the society if you are giving something to the society the society is paying us back so this is what i realized in my life of children parliament so this is the thing i am also trying to give <laughs> you if you are giving something to the society it will pay back to you don't think or don't hesitate to give something to the society if you really 
uh, like or if you really love to do some social love what you do this is the first and foremost thing i have followed in my life and uh, when i started going to colleges and all um that excuse me please give me a minute i'm i'm sorry for this so when i was when i am pursuing under graduation in loyola i was given opportunity to giving give lectures to the msw students i was just pursuing my under graduation but i i got an opportunity to give lectures to the master people they gave me opportunity to talk with lot of people all around chennai all around tamil nadu and all around india so i've addressed like more than 150 colleges and more than 300 schools so far as an international child rights activist and the global convener of the world parliament of children so this is the thing children parliament has given to me and now i'm here as an as a global convener so when i was when i was just doing um, my graduation i got an opportunity to go to ukraine to take part in international democratic education conference that's the first time i got an opportunity to go abroad so i i went i couldn't be able to go there because of some problems and financial needs and i thought okay foreign and all doesn't suit us so we can do something here only something like that and in just few weeks lot of opportunities started coming to me like i was in, continuously i was invited to um, in just a month i i visited like more than 11 countries and of 11 i got an opportunity to talk give a talk in six universities and three film festivals five schools and in a democratic conference too that is an international conference so i visited more than 11 countries in just a month in a month and uh, out of that i gave like more than uh, 25 public lectures one among them was oxburg university so i we gave lot of paper presentations and all one of the presentations selected to university of brazil now so after this pandemic and all we have to go there and we have to give the presentation to the students who are pursuing bsw there bachelor's in social work so i came from a very rural village and since birth i was living in hut only i never seen some flight in direct but i got an opportunity to deliver a speech in the international sectors and a lot of people from united nations are talking to me they are asking me to um like conduct some programs conduct some activities in our village as well in our district so this is the first and foremost thing we have ever seen and the final thing with that i would like to stop my thing and i'll straight away jump into the silent parliament success stories uh, in all the levels so some filmmakers from london brazil and uh, germany came to our village and they made a film you may be hear of this film power to the children so this power to the children film is all about how children in india are setting their children parliaments how uh, children in india are setting their children parliaments and uh, through this children parliament what are all the things these children are trying to convey to this world so this is how it comes the story comes so i was one of the protagonists of the film out of the children it has um, screened in the united nations chambers like more than 12 chambers and it is the only film screened in the united nations for continuous 12 times it's related to child rights so in kyrgyzstan there were a film festival called birdo you know international human rights film festival i went there as a global convener and a former deputy prime minister of national children parliament and i went there i was addressed there and the government some people from the local politics and um, state government they came to me and they asked we are very curious and we are very interested to start this children parliament program in our state and in our country please help us this is how um, they they used to call cm as president so president or a leader of a state is talking to me i was just 19 years old you know this is the pride this children parliament has added to us i am just a matchstick out of a matchbox and uh, you saw swanalakshmi and our dynamics and all 
So we are just a match sticks out of a matchbox. We just drop of the ocean. But we have a lot of Achievers in our children parliament in all liberty and they used to give voice to child rights and a lot of sorry film as awarded as the one of the best international received that award with my friends. We went to International Film Festival of Kerala has given the award to us and that person or those talk, like talking to us like okay, I am a minister of a state, but you know what? You you are knowing a lot of things than us. This is how a, a person who is in the member of who is a member of parliament after the student parliament has something uh, to transform a village or to make some kind of things, some kind of changes in our village. But now it has evolved, it has transformed, not only just some people's life, but a very huge number. So I would like to like list some of the success stories we have made and the children. And my fellow friends were made. So you know, uh, in Krishnagiri district, there were one of the uh, young and dynamic girl called Bhavani. She was fatherless actually. She was fatherless, and that girl were uh, addressing the collector, saying this: "We didn't have a bridge to cross the river. The first thing we didn't have." Uh, proper sanitation in our school we don't we didn't have any kind of uh, fundamental things in our village something like this she argues she argued in just two days whatever what are all the things she has just asked with the collector of krishnakri he has made everything he has passed some bills and he has ordered to do all these things all the needful what we have mentioned in the petition and surprisingly, there is a one pride to be as bad. So, usually, the public. Um, meetings were will be conducted in every Monday. The first Monday of a month, um, the collector has to conduct or he, he used to uh, assemble all the school. So the district collector of Krishnagiri has given to us an opportunity to meet him all the second Saturdays of the month. And um, so far, we have stopped. We have banned more than two hundred alcohol shops. We have rescued more than 3,000 child laborers. These children parliamentarians have become um, administrative officers, government um, authorities, and some of our people are trying to get into politics also. So this is the great things we have ever seen and we have ever made. Now, you know, the beautiful thing is, all these children parliamentarians know how to face failures. How to be and how to be a very great person, great personality. When we talk about um, with regard to education, health, and governance, politics, and all. So when we start something, or when we catch something in the let's say for example, if we catch a seat in uh, assembly means on behalf of this children parliament, we can we have done a lot of things when we were just kids, when we were just about 15, 16 and 10 years old. When we were given seat in the assembly, it will be very sure that we can do a lot of social transformations and a lot of things. And we can almost, we can try 100% to eradicate poverty, um, corruption and social injustices. We can live in a world with peace and justice if we start children parliaments in every nook and corners of the world. So this, uh, this is where I conclude. A leader is one who knows the way, shows um, 
goes the way and shows the way so these children parliamentarians are being a role models to a lot of people so try to start children parliament and try to promote it and we'll be posting our regular updates in facebook page and as well uh, instagram so keep following us both the ids are children parliament global so please follow us and uh, get our instant updates thank you so much for listening to me and i'm very sorry for the bad bandwidth so thank you so much and if you have any question or clarification you can ask me thank you so much